The Lagos Rail Mass Transit Project. This is a rapid transit system being developed in Lagos State, Nigeria. Currently in development are the blue and red at a cost of over 20 billion US dollars. The first section of the network, phase one of the blue line, was originally planned to be completed in 2011, though the construction has suffered many delays caused by shortage of funds and change of government. The blue line when completed will run 27.5 kilometers from Marina to Okakameko, with 13 stations and an end-to-end -end journey time of 35 minutes. The entire blue line operates over a secure and exclusive right-of-way, with no level crossings and no uncontrolled access by pedestrians or vehicles. The route runs on the surface in the central reservation of the Lagos Betagri Expressway between Igboelarin Road, Okakameko, and Iganmu. The line is then elevated from Iganmu, along the south side of the expressway passing the junction with Eric Moore Road, crossing just south of the National Theatre to Ido, then south to Lagos Island with a terminal at Marina. A maintenance and storage facility, MSF, has been constructed at Okakameko, with a track connection from the Blue Line to the depot. The first phase of the Blue Line coming into operation shortly is a 13-kilometer stretch from Marina to Mile 2 and has five stations at Mile 2, Suruelaba, Oralaganmu, National Theatre and Marina. It is expected to move about 200,000 passengers per day. The rail system will be powered by electricity from an independent power plant to be purposely built for its operation. The second line known as the Red Line is currently under construction and runs from Marina to Ibato a distance of 37 kilometers. The line shares the right-of-way of the Lagos Kano Standard Gauge Railway. The Red Line Phase 1 which is nearing completion runs from Ibato to Oengbo. The second phase will see an extension built to terminate at Ido. It will have eight stations and it is expected to reduce travel by over two hours. There are five other proposed lines, namely the brown, orange, purple, green, and yellow line to be built in the future. If you like this video be sure to subscribe so that you don't have to miss any of our upcoming videos on the building and construction industry.